You know, we were speaking earlier about putting more money in the hands of people, boosting consumption. And let me come to you on this point, Mr. Maimani. Uh, big, big uh, expectations, but honestly, expectations are there every time, especially from uh, the taxpayer's perspective, that there would be some relief. Things like ATC, Section ATC, those limits haven't been tinkered with in over a decade. Uh, do you think that with the kind of comfort the government has right now because of the RBI dividend payout, there is scope to do this? Do you think that there could be a tendency or a leniency to do it? And is this what is required to just give more relief to, pay, to taxpayers? Or would there be other ways preferable to put more money in people's pockets? Yeah, so, I, you know, I, firstly, I agree with you. I think the uh, uh, the government macroeconomic situation, the government balance sheet uh, uh, is strong. Uh, I think it's also stronger than, uh, uh, than what was projected in the, uh, in the vote on account. Uh, and both in terms of tax revenue collection is higher, is ahead of plan, especially in personal tax. And also uh, in terms of uh, sort of we talked about the RBI dividends and, and other things. So, so uh, I think government, if they would want to, I think this is a good year to do something. Whether they will do ATC or not, I doubt it because they would want people to migrate to the new tax, personal tax regime. So I think that's where they would want people to migrate. So I, I, my view is if anything, they may add to the minimum threshold limit. So they may add to the rebate. Uh, so that they can encourage more people to move to the new tax regime, which is slightly lower tax rates, uh, but but very few uh, incentives and concessions. So that's what I think. Uh, in other ways of doing that, obviously not necessarily in the budget, but uh, you know GST and GST reduction in some basic consumption items, or also in some items which sit in 28 percent. Uh, you know, when there are items of sort of day-to-day -day consumption. So things like that can also enable, be enabled, but not through budget. And uh, uh, Sanjeev talked about income transmission uh, to rural India through various mechanisms. I think that's uh, that's another way, a, area uh, that, we, that, that they can be done. I certainly think that um, from what the budgeted estimates were, I mean, if you look at the total expenditure estimate, tax revenues were some 38, 39 lakh crores, you know, if you add everything else, you were looking at 43, 44 lakh crores of uh, total income that the government did set. I, my guess is it would probably be 3 to 4 percent higher than, than what was projected. So I think the government has the economic space if they were without adding any new taxes or changing, tinkering with any tax rate. So the government has the flexibility of uh, spending, you know, one and a half lakh to two crores, two lakh crores more than what was what, what has been estimated uh, as expenditure. Uh, where they're going to put that money is will be an interesting question. Maybe some of it will be towards consumption. I, I would presume a lot of that will be through cons for consumption, transmission of income, and one or two you could see some big scheme announcements that happen around healthcare or some other things, uh, which will require budget allocation. 